LED light expert here, uh, showing you a brand new install. Everybody's constantly uh, reaching out to us and wanting to see what our lights look like in action. Um, so today we're going to show you what it looks like. We've got two quartz here. We've got our lights up on one quartz so far and the old metal halides up on another quartz. Um, this is at the Acosta Masters Association. Our friend Tom at North County Electric helped out with the install. Uh, and we wanted to show you the difference between the two ports. So you'll see our lighting. We'll get you foot candle readings, lux readings, and the old metal halides, 1000 watts versus our 450 watt next gen two lights. Um, I'm sure you're going to see some huge differences here between the two. Um, and anytime you want to come take a look, once again, La Costa Masters Association, um, come on down. Uh, and you can see the lights in action. All right, we are here showing you um, the old metal halide lights in the middle of the court here. Uh, right in the middle, we're running about 335 lux. Um, so we're going to be right around 33 foot candles here. Um, <clears throat> the, the metal halides just can't really tell as well on the camera, but just looking up at them, um, you get you get a glimpse of the filament. It is pretty blinding, uh, really tough on the eyes. Uh, whereas the lights on the, the court with the LEDs, granted, you do not want to be staring at either, uh, but it's a little bit easier on the eyes. Uh, not as harsh as the metal halides. Um, as far as the foot candle, you will see shortly uh, the difference as we go from the old metal halides up to the LEDs on the entire. right underneath one of the metal halide lights right now with the meter right on the sideline of the court uh, with a reading of just over 400 bucks or around 40 foot candles. Uh, we're going to see a big difference here going from the metal halide side and we've got a little bit of room between the two but you're going to see a huge difference on the LED side as I can see inside. Come on around here to the court. reading as we jump up here to the court with the LEDs comes up to about 720, 725 lux um, around 72 foot candles. We're seeing a huge difference between the two um, going from the 1000 watt metal halides to the 450 watt next gen. Uh, giving you a different perspective so you can really see the two different quartz next to each other. Moving from on the right with the metal halide lights to the new LEDs on the left. Uh, one thing you'll really notice is that the light is extremely even on the left side with the LEDs. Um, a good plan on the lighting, making sure they're angled right, will really make sure you have even lighting throughout the court. Um, something really important for sports lighting because nobody wants shadows, nobody wants dark spots. Uh, you will see on the metal highlight side um, with the minor reflectors on the lights um, without really having good optics to spread it out. Uh, there are dark spots here and there and you just don't get the even lighting that you do from the LED side.
150 watts per light. All right, the next thing we wanted to show you here, uh, something a little tough to see with um, the camera, but hopefully you'll get a, a good view of this. Um, just seeing the difference between the, the two and the harshness of the metal halide versus the LEDs. With the metal halide, you just have a glass lens and over top of it. There is a reflector up there, but it's basically the bulb shining straight down um, through a glass lens, which is going to be really harsh on the metal. stands looking at something like that. Um, whereas if we move to the other side with the LEDs, the optics built into the Next Gen 2 series to help reduce glare make a huge difference so it's not so harsh on your eyes. Oh my God, so you're, Michael. You're viewing this. Oh, it is so they different over there. Extremely bright. And that would be much on. easier. On you only got one. Here you can see us on the court with the new 450 watt Next Gen 2 lights installed and a 574 lux reading at mid-court with very even lighting throughout the court. This easily reaches USTA and ITA standards for lighting on a tennis court. This is also a 200 lux or 20 foot candle increase over the old metal halide lights and well over 50% energy savings even with this huge upgrade in light. The key here is doing a photometric study to make sure you have the end results you want if you have specific lighting goals that must be met. With a photometric study, we can not only plan for certain brightness goals, but also make sure the lighting is evenly distributed and how to plan the install to prevent light from bleeding off the court and bothering neighbors. Another thing to point out for this installation was that the old lights were a proprietary design, which can cause some trouble with installation if not planned for. Our experience with sport lighting has taught us the tricks and given us the knowledge to be able to overcome such obstacles and know the right adapters and mounts to make any job work the first time and help prevent excess labor costs at install. Our U.S. customer support with technicians on staff are available not only to help you plan your lighting and meet your needs, but also to help with your install and any technical support you or your installer may need all backed by a rock-solid five-year warranty to help troubleshoot, solve, and fix any issues during the life of your lights and make sure they last a long time.